Now to give an interpretation to the B value then in the regression line that we've just found, B being the 7.73, what I would suggest we do is just have a look back at the scatter diagram or the regression line. Okay, So we've got X and we've got Y here. Now X represented the age in years, okay, so put that age and we'll have that in years on that axis and Y was the mileage then in thousands of miles, okay, so we've got the mileage, be good if I could uh, spell it right, so we'll just put mileage there, mileage and it's given in thousands of miles, okay, so we'll just put thousands there for short. Now, our regression line then, it's going to be a line something like this. Now, it's no good mentioning 7.73 is the gradient. Okay, it's a positive gradient, so the line's going to slope upwards. But to give an interpretation, what we think of is something about what gradient is. That is, for every one unit we go across to the right, the graph rises by 7.73 units. So what we're saying then is if this is one year, okay, we've got a rise here of 7.73. So for every one year, a typical car, its mileage is going to be roughly 7.73 thousand miles or 7,730 miles. So that's the kind of answer that we should be looking to put down. So I would say that for a typical car, okay, for a typical car, it's going to do 7,000, let's say 7,730, 7,730 miles per year. Okay, you might want to round that up to 7,000, say 700, okay? I'll leave it up to you, okay? I'm sure the examiners are going to give some kind of approximation that they would allow for that, okay? So for a typical car, 7,730 miles per year um, are covered, okay? Let's just put that in there. Right? So it's based on gradient then for every one unit across here, that's how much you rise by.